Hey everyone, and welcome back to Quantum of Solace. Uh, last time we left Bond possibly dying of poison, and this time we're gonna find out whether or not he's okay in a level very simply titled Barge. Let's get to it. Miss Lind, this is Dr. Singh. The defibrillator may be broken. Tell me exactly what you see. It's fixed to Bond's chest. They are... Hold on, one of the wires is loose. It's not connected. Then fix it. And then press the red button. Good job, Miss Lind. Hold on. What now? Is he alive? He's back. He'll be fine. Thank God. Skip ahead to the end of the card game. You seem quite familiar with all this. The Shifa lost over a hundred million dollars of our money. I have a hard time forgetting. Here, run it. You mean Bond's won? Yes, but there's a problem. Vespa's been kidnapped. The Chief's taken her. Bond's following the Chief's car now. They're headed for the coast. The Chief's been keeping extra men and munitions on an old barge south of Petrovac. That's where they'll take her. The Aston Martin. Bond's had an accident. Turn on his phone. Turn it up! Action, Mr. Bliss? Or is that Bond? I'm a little confused. Put him in the car and get his phone. <sighs> Sasha, can you see the girl? They just got her to the barge. Let me know when she's below deck. Then we'll bring down Bond. Fine, just keep your eyes on Sebastian's got him covered. Bond's not going anywhere. Tanner? Bond, you all right? What happened? Car trouble. Have you tracked Vespa? She's on an old barge south of... Wait, hold on. According to your phone's GPS, you're nearly there. Head through that warehouse in front of you. The barge is just beyond. We've got the satellite on it now. So who thinks that a single pair of handcuffs is going to hold James Bond? In any case, we don't start this level with a gun, but we do have a set of cameras we can unlock here. So we have a warehouse, probably the one right in front of us. And there's a guy with a big gun there. We also have a dock area. And a really messy room with both a cell phone and a shiny weapon crate. In this first building here, we also find our first cell phone. So apparently there's a sniper in the warehouse. That was probably the guy we saw on the camera. Waiting to bring down our guest. Over. Take this guy down so we at least have a weapon. And he had an FRWL as well as our silenced uh, Walther. So that's nice, we can try and be a little bit stealthy here. So this building has two guys in it and the door is locked, which means we need to get their attention to get them to open it. And now we only have one guy to deal with. Unfortunately, he managed to get a few shots off, which means uh, the guy in here probably hurt us. Vespa's been grabbed. Can you get down to the barge? I can't see where she's headed. Crap. But uh, killing this guy is going to give us his sniper rifle, the WA-2000 again. Help! James! Bond, can you see the barge? 
We have multiple targets converging on Vespa. Bond, they're heading down the deck from your left. So here we have a sniping area. It's a little bit uh, different than the last sniping area we had because these guys are actually going to shoot back. That spotlight is really bothering me and I'm trying to uh, take it out. And I almost die here because really them shooting back makes it a lot harder. And apparently blowing up that searchlight did not, in fact, uh, turn it off. So that's unfortunate. say Tanner calling out targets in this part definitely makes it easier. This isn't right. Still coming, Bond. Let me go. And unfortunately we don't have a good shot, so Vesper gets grabbed again. Anyway, it's up to us to save the princess here, so we need to go and get on that boat. That's the docks cleared out, but before we move on, there's a cell phone in here. This one is just another warning about a uh, environmental hazards, acetylene tanks. At least this time the tanks are filled with something that would probably actually explode. and explode quite nicely at that. Now, we have yet another cell phone before we even get on the boat, sitting right here. And this is, uh... Oh, it's a warning about the room with extra armaments. That's probably that weapons crate we saw on the cameras. There are a lot of guys here. Let's do this in a very Bond way. So despite all the explosions, there are still guys pouring into this area.
before moving on, yet another cell phone. This level has a lot of them. Now that Monsieur Rochef has taken possession of the barge, no one but those in his direct employ are allowed on or near the vessel without his express consent. Use of deadly force is authorized and expected in the event of an incursion. Well, at least these guys are living up to their, uh, their job requirements. He's outside the door. Watch, the, Watch the windows. Stay away from the portals! Oh, hey, there's explosives in here. And here's that room we saw on the camera. So let's grab the cell phone first. This one's kind of interesting, because it implies that Lashif knew who both Vesper and Bond were before he actually lost the card game. It's interesting. Now let's see what was in the weapons crate. Ah, TLD-22. For some reason, this one comes silenced. We don't really need to be quiet anymore, so let's take that off. I need backup! It's a very disorganized ship. Almost the entire rest of the level is us fighting our way across the ship, basically. And it can actually be really annoying. The cover isn't great. There are guys coming from multiple directions. I have to say, I definitely died a few times here on my practice runs. But I think that was the last guy in the first wave. Before we move on and trigger the second wave, though, we have our last cell phone down underneath where we were just shooting from. So this just says there are some unsafe areas on the barge, and it specifically highlights a shipping container that is being suspended from a crane. Have to keep our eyes out for that. Speak of the Devil, I think that's it right there. Yes, it is. I'm moving in. That doesn't sound very likely. So we have one last guy who, quite stupidly, decides to stand right underneath that shipping container. This is the same guy who grabbed Vesper before. I think he's supposed to be Lashif's right-hand man of some sort, but it's he's never really identified. Anyway, he gets exactly what's coming to him. And I've never heard that voice clip before, but apparently it's coming from Vesper underneath us.
So Bond being Bond when there's a girl involved is just gonna rush right in here without even looking. See you guys next time.